Okay, so now let's take a look at the difference between stratified and cluster random sampling. Stratified, three relatively homogeneous groups. These might be people with one major or set of majors, maybe quantitative majors in the College of Business. These could be non-quantitative majors like management and marketing in the College of Business. And these could be non-business majors, maybe of people enrolled in a course in statistics. In cluster random sampling, we have naturally occurring groups that are heterogeneous within each group. So instead of these all being, in, in this case it says Maple Street, it could be a row in a uh, classroom, for example. But there's, these are different majors or different, whatever the, different on whatever characteristics you're using on each street. So in stratified, we would take a sample of some size from each one of the strata and in cluster, what we do is we randomly select, say, one cluster. It could be more than one, but since we have three, we randomly select one cluster and then select everybody on that in that particular cluster. So if we selected one, Maple Street, then we would have everybody in that that lives on Maple Street would be in our sample, say if we're doing door-to-door -door interviews or something like that. Okay, so let's look at the research randomizer. Uh, we did this one in an earlier video, but I'll re repeat it. For stratified random sampling, we might want to have three sets of numbers to represent the three strata that we had. If we want a total sample of size 12, we'll get four for each one. We had 10 in each one of the strata, so our number range will be 1 to 10, and we'll randomize now. And so for our strata stratified random sampling, these were the numbers that we had. In our first strata here, we would have number one, number two, number eight, and number nine. In the second one, one, three, five, and nine. And in the third strata, one, two, five, and eight. So we've selected four from each of the strata. Okay, for our cluster sample, we're just going to generate one set of numbers, and it's just going to have one number in it in this case because we have three streets and we're just going to randomly select one. If we were going to select 10 out of 100 clusters, then this would be different, but we're just going to get one cluster from those three streets. Number range is one to three. Maple Street will be the first one, then Main Street, then First Street. Since there's only one number, the next two answers don't make a difference at all. And so we got the number one. That means that everybody on Maple Street is in our sample because that is group one or cluster one. 